Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. An attorney within the XRP community has stated that, in his opinion, the SEC sued Ripple before they even finished their own damn investigation. Well, how about that? And why is he saying that? It has to do with a, a request that the SEC put in today. And the news on this is, is broken within the last couple hours or so. I, I was actually about to record a different video that I had mapped out, and I have paused that uh, so that I could quickly cover this. So, Because um, I, I, I just wanted to get this out, uh, which means I'm guessing this will probably be a video that's a little bit shorter than normal. But what the hell do I know? I mean, these videos go however long they need to go. So we will see here. Your future people, you know how long this particular moon level hot jam went on for. You let me know. Uh, but so what are we talking about here? What actually happened? Well, here's a tweet from attorney James K. Filan. It's, it's, it's a Twitter thread, ultimately. And so James K. Filan, not a part of Ripple, he is not part of the SEC. He is an attorney who happens to be a member of the XRP community, and he's been sharing all sorts of information about court proceedings, uh, all the pretrial stuff, along with his own opinions. And this is fascinating. I've actually got opinions from three attorneys within this video, actually. I'm going to start with this one. And so here you go. Here, here it begins from James Filan. Uh, SEC versus Ripple. After a two-and-a-half-year investigation... And almost six months after filing the complaint, the SEC has just requested that the court extend the deadlines for both fact and expert discovery by 60 days. And so upon reading that, my first reaction was like, uh, why do I need that? Why the hell is it that you need that? Little peculiar. Well, my fellow XRP YouTuber Crypto Eddie uh, was curious as well. And she asked James Filan the following. Jim... For what reasons does this typically happen? <clears throat> Need more time for discovery? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh. I'm all right, guys. I'm all right. It's got a touch of the road, I think. and no, I'm good. Uh, so anyway, need more time for discovery? Question mark. Trying to wear down the other side to reach settlement? SEC needs to regroup? What are your thoughts? And, uh, and so James did respond. Parties ask for extensions of discovery all the time. Here, however... It's a government agency asking for the extension after a two and a half year formal government investigation. That's a two and a half year head start on the case using all the tools and resources the United States government has at its disposal. In my opinion, it means that the enforcement action was filed before the investigation was even completed. Which to me means the SEC is still scrambling to put its case together. I don't think Judge Netburn will be particularly impressed. So let me pause there before I even read the rest of it. How about that whole thing where uh, Jay Clayton was on the, his way out the door and this whole thing last minute out of nowhere seemingly gets filed uh, amidst a, uh, you know, a, 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 a change, administ administ income administration changing, uh, taking over for uh, the Trump administration. That was a sloppily worded sentence. But you know, you got the cut of my jib, damn it. You, you had Biden coming in. Obviously, there's going to be a whole bunch of, of uh, uh, employment changes, let's say, as a result of all of that. And so on the last day, uh, like, <laughs> Jay Clayton, that little ass hat, he decides, <laughs> along with the rest of the SEC, it is time right now to, to file this thing. And now we're seeing that perhaps... They weren't ready to do so if they were. And maybe there's a chance that they weren't going to. But either way, they're like, well, time's limited. It's now or never. Looks at it doesn't it doesn't not look like that's perhaps what happened. Hmm. We've been questioning that for half a year anyway. So you throw this into the mix. You're like, oh, well, what a, what an entire army of assets just marching along. Marching. That's the sound of the assets marching right there. And so, again, he wrote here. Um, I don't think Judge Netburn will be particularly impressed. And then he continues. The SEC's motion completely disrespects Judge Netburn's strong and efficient handling of the case and her fast resolution of disputes, like on a Sunday over the Memorial Day weekend. The SEC never addresses why it's so ill-equipped after a two-and-a-half-year investigation, and the SEC ignores that a court's primary focus regarding an extension of time to complete discovery is on the prejudice the extension will cause to the defendants. The, 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 uh, the motion makes the SEC look bad. 
Yeah, plain and simple, right? And so somebody responded to that and asked the question, do we know if Ripple is fine with this? And if not, do they get to respond to the request? To which attorney James Filan responded with the following. According to the motion, quote, defendants do not consent to the SEC's request because they contend that the SEC had sufficient time to investigate this matter before filing suit and because Ripple wants to move for summary judgment as soon as as possible and so here, here and this is why this is not going to surprise you actually when you think about it like this so I, I on that exact point like why would ripple why would they want why would they want the extension that doesn't make sense uh but the fact that this is happening might sound, sound like a little less surprising when you consider the following here's here's a tweet from attorney jeremy hogan a uh, member of the xrp community he wrote the following the SEC has apparently bitten off more than it can chew and is asking the court for more time at the dinner table. I don't know if the court will grant the extension, but I do know that the SEC is way behind the eight ball. Note again that the new Chicago lawyer wrote the letter. And so what's he talking about there? New Chicago lawyer, what's that all about? Well, do you remember this article which I covered? This was on this is the beginning part of May, I believe. Was it May 2nd? I don't see a date on this thing. Uh, well, re regard. Oh, it's May six. Okay, yeah, so they have a date at the bottom. Why not the top? Damn it! Be like a normal publication and just have the date at the top. Damn it! I don't know what they. Why, why are you trying to do breaking the mold nonsense like that? Anyway, so out of nowhere though, there were two new lawyers brought into the case, and they were seasoned uh, attorneys. Let's say, uh, lots of experience, and so uh, Jeremy Hogan, attorney Jeremy Hogan, member of the XRP community, had previously opined. That, you know, typically if you're going to have this come in, it's not just uh, somebody coming in to provide a little bit of extra help. You could have pretty much anybody do that. If you're going to have a seasoned, a couple seasoned attorneys jump in, it's probably so that they can take the lead of the case effectively right here. Now, why would that need to happen if the wheels weren't falling off the wagon here? Things are not going well for the SEC, right? Isn't that what, it's just indication after indication after indication. The SEC, they they weren't prepared. They, they're the ones, the ball was in their court. They had years to put this all together. Man, I don't, I, seriously, how do these people get their shirts on in the morning? That's what I want to know. Are, are they like Bitcoin maxi trolls and they also wear Velcro shoes? That's what I want to know. And they wear helmets when they're walking around because nothing outside their little bubble wrapped room is, is safe for them because they can barely walk like like this this is what i'm assuming is the case here uh and, and so it was uh, one of these new attorneys uh, one of the two new ones uh, his name is robert moy uh, he's the one that filed this this thing here and so it looks to me like they're just cleaning up the mess of the <laughs> like that occurred before they were on board here uh and then there was this from attorney jesse hines another member of the xrp community in response to all this he wrote the following uh, not the kind of request someone who is settling makes, just saying. Um, now, I must admit, I was a little surprised to see that um, what I had seen from uh, other attorneys, um, you know, because there's John Deaton, another member of the XRP community. I don't have anything new from him on this topic, uh, but there's him and, and Jeremy Hogan specifically. Like, it's, it's been made clear to me that even if you're thinking about settling, even if you're having legitimate settlement talks, you still file ahead full steam. And so since you don't know if settlement's going to happen, you just have to pretend that it's not. So if this is what they would have done, like regardless, then it's not surprising. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, and look, I'm not an attorney, so um, I'm, I'm just sharing with you how it struck me. But, uh, you, you know, the idea of this indicating that settlement is not likely, uh, I was just surprised to see that from them. And I'd be curious to see what uh, Jeremy Hogan and John Deaton have to say about that. Because my understanding is that they're just going to carry on like business as usual, even if there's a good chance that they want to settle ultimately. Because you can't just stop. You don't know for sure. So that's the way that uh, that I was looking at. And so somebody asked uh, Jesse Hines here, uh, what are the chances of the honor, uh, the honor, uh, the, her honor allowing this, the judge? And Jesse responded with the following. I have no clue how the judge will rule on this. She could go either way, to be honest. In a normal case, this motion would be very likely granted. But as we all know, there is nothing normal about this case. I lean towards the extension being granted. So we shall see. I'm, I'm almost more interested in like the implications of the fact that they need the extension more so than whether or not it gets granted. 
that may or may not be a big deal. Like if, if it's a big deal, it has not been articulated yet by any of these attorneys, like why it would be a big deal. To me, it's just more so interesting to see how much of a train wreck this whole case is against Ripple. Like the, the SEC, if I were an attorney, I would much rather be uh, representing Ripple uh, than, uh, than be on the side of the SEC. That would not be a fun argument to make. So I do not envy that. All right, well, I guess this video wasn't quite as short as I thought it might have been, but uh, there there we go. So that's the latest. The SEC sucks, um, and they can suck it. Eggplant emoji, you know. But uh, I will go ahead and wrap up there. Let me know what you think, Blue. Are you guys feeling the same as me about this? Seriously, let me know. Because, like, to me, this just looks like it, this is embarrassing for the SEC. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.